If you thought that humans did some pretty strange things, then you should check out these animals. Yeah, the animal kingdom is a weird and wacky place where just about anything goes. These creatures are known for displaying some seriously shocking behavior, all in the name of survival. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. No one's gonna judge these critters for their quirky habits, from a sea creature that literally pukes up its guts, to goats that will climb hundreds of feet up a sheer death drop just for a lick of salt. These are the 15 weirdest things animals do, part two. These birds are generally in huge flocks. Sea cucumber defensive guts. It takes some guts to be a sea cucumber. No, literally. These squishy sea creatures may look totally defenseless, but they actually have a pretty extraordinary defense mechanism that will most likely turn your stomach. That's right, this underwater slug is capable of projectile vomiting its insides out, contracting its muscles to fire their internal organs at attackers. Weird, right? This strange assault is so freaky that most predators will flee in revulsion, leaving the sea cucumber in peace. But how does this jelly-like creature survive without its organs? Well, amazingly enough, the sea cucumber can actually regenerate its insides, so throwing up its organs every now and again is no big deal for this soft sea creature. Sure, it's gross, but it's super effective. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Raw Chicken Lizard while we're on the topic of gross animals, this little lizard has a disgusting trick up its sleeve. Yep, the Gecko Lepis Megalepis, hailing from Madagascar, has an extremely unusual method of defense, making itself look like a pile of raw meat. Many have said that this reptile resembles an uncooked chicken breast, and we can kinda see what they mean. This newly discovered fish-scaled gecko can completely shed its scales when threatened, allowing it to slip out of a predator's grip. In fact, they're so slippery that when researchers tried to catch them, they would often be left with nothing more than a handful of scales. They eventually resorted to luring the lizards into bags so that they could study the crafty critter in the lab. So, how does this weird creature shake off its scales so easily? Along the base of its skin, there's a special layer of cells called the tear zone, and they're especially adapted to rip off their large scales whenever needed, with no bleeding and no scars. It's thought that this rapid regeneration could help scientists learn more about cell regeneration and healing in humans. Not bad for an animal that looks like a lump of raw chicken. <laughs> Gravity-defying goat. Gravity-defying goats? Whatever's next. Yet in the Piedmont region of northern Italy, agile alpine ibex goats have been spotted climbing the 160-foot Singino Dam with no fear or awareness of their own mortality. That's a long way down. These brave goats scale the wall here on a daily basis, and they've been seen battling out for the best possible spots. Yet rock climbing is seriously competitive in the goat world. The gradient here is close to 90 degrees, making this giant dam very nearly vertical. But that doesn't stop the alpine ibex. That's because they're pretty much addicted to the delicious salt contained within the side of the dam. It's their cravings for nutritious salt that drives these goats literally up a wall. These nimble goats are used to living at altitudes of up to 15,000 feet above sea level. So a structure like this is no effort at all. They possess special concave hooves that can grip on tightly to surfaces and spread their toes for extra stability. Their huge inner ears also help them maintain an extraordinary sense of balance while performing gravity-defying stunts such as this one. Wow, if they like salt this much, we wonder what they do for a bag of chips. <laughs> Orangutan saws a branch. Check it out, this awesome ape knows how to wield a saw. Dare we say better than some humans? Yeah, this astonishing footage, filmed as part of BBC documentary's Spy in the Wild, captures the unbelievable moment an orangutan was seen sawing a branch using the man-made tool. Using her opposable thumbs to steadily grip the saw, this highly skilled primate even cleans away sawdust to get a closer look at her handiwork. Amazing, right? Experts didn't even know the wild orangutans were capable of this kind of craftsmanship, so it was especially fascinating to catch this clever creature in the act. The female orangutan, who lives in Borneo, 
seemed to be spurred on by the robotic spy orangutan who had been programmed to saw at a branch. Not to be beaten by this mysterious stranger, she demonstrates exactly what she's capable of. Incredibly, scientists have claimed that monkeys can even master crafting weapons to hunt with, though it could take years at a time for them to succeed at doing so. Yeah, there's more to life in the jungle than eating fruit and swinging through treetops. Some monkeys are hard at work. <laughs> Flying snakes. Uh-oh, scientists have found out that certain species of snakes can fly. And we're not talking about snakes on a plane. Deep in the Malaysian jungle, there's a serpent who can glide from tree to tree with ease, presumably scaring the living daylights out of birds and monkeys just minding their own business in the canopy. These soaring snakes are even better at gliding than flying squirrels, a mammal known for its awesome daredevil skills. So, how do these venomous snakes do it? Scientists have figured out that these four foot long snakes fly by flattening their bodies to double their width and then undulate back and forth to make turns in the sky. They launch themselves from the treetops and can even travel at a speed of 10 meters per second, flying as far as 100 meters in one glide. Yeah, now you have to look beneath your feet and over your head when looking out for snakes. <laughs> Black Heron Shady Hunter This seriously sinister bird has a very weird hunting method indeed. The black heron lives in the wetlands of sub-Saharan Africa and Madagascar, feasting mainly on fish. But this is no ordinary bird. The black heron engages in a bizarre hunting behavior known as canopy feeding and can be seen using its wings to create an umbrella effect, shading the water below. This cool, dark spot attracts fish looking to escape the searing heat of the sun, and the shade even allows the heron to see its prey more clearly without the glare of the sun's rays getting in the way. Yeah, this technique may be extra sneaky, but it sure is smart. The black heron will even gather in groups of up to 100 in fishing parties, luring more unsuspecting victims their way. Watch out for the umbrella of death. Cheerleader crabs. Give me a C, give me an R, give me an A, give me a B. And what does that spell? Crab. Yeah, we bet you didn't know that there were tiny little cheerleader crabs scurrying around at the bottom of the ocean. This quirky little crab can be found in the shallows of the Indo-Pacific, and they're less than an inch in length. These cute crustaceans carry their very own pom-poms with them everywhere they go. However, they aren't used to cheering on their favorite underwater sports teams. Nope, these fluffy pom-poms are actually poisonous sea anemones, and the boxer crabs use them as many weapons to swing at their enemies and hunt for food. It's even thought that they might clone these living accessories by splitting them into two and allowing them to regenerate over a couple of days. Now this might sound pretty cruel, but actually the relationship between the crab and the anemone is symbiotic, which means that they both benefit from this unusual arrangement. The anemone actually receives more food and more oxygen from being carried by boxer crabs. So everyone's a winner. <laughs> Tongue-eating isopod. This 8 millimeter long parasite has an extremely weird way of taking over their host. The Simothoa exigua is an isopod, just like a crab or a lobster, that can actually replace an entire organ in its victim. That's right, this peculiar parasite actually destroys the fish's tongue and then lives in its place. Targeting the red snapper fish, this animal will swim inside its gills, securing themselves in place and beginning the whole disgusting process. Using their surprisingly powerful hind legs, they can then attach themselves to the inside of the fish's mouth, piercing its tongue and sucking out all the blood. Gross, right? Well, it gets worse. The tongue then withers away and dies, and the parasite then lives and breeds inside the mouth as a new permanent appendage, feeding on the scraps in between the teeth of the fish. If that makes you feel squirmish, then this next fact will probably give you nightmares. Humans are also host to many different organisms. In fact, we're the host to so many that 90% of our cells in our body are actually not human at all. Yikes. <laughs> tail shedding lizards. Did you know that a lizard can drop its tail and leave it behind in order to distract predators? Yeah, this extremely common lizard defense tactic might be weird, but it's also very effective. Known as autonomy, lizards can pull off their own tail giving them time to flee to safety. They're born with a line of weakness in their tails called a fracture plane, where the muscles can pull away from one another. 
Their missing tails usually grow back between six months to a year, but the new tail is usually more stumpy and a bit paler. Hey, that's still better than being caught by a predator. Most lizards can only grow their tail back so many times before they lose this incredible ability, but it's still a pretty neat trick. Oh, imagine if humans could do this with a leg or an arm. How weird would that be? Bowerbird Courtship These awesome birds are like the interior designers of the animal kingdom. Yet when it comes to weird behavior, the bowerbird has to be the most flamboyant of any creature. These fascinating birds are known for building huge, elaborate structures decorated with brightly colored objects in order to attract females. Just think of them as extremely decorated bachelor pads. The bowerbird lives in the forests of Australia and New Guinea, where they pick one or two architectural styles in which to build their mini mansion. The first is a maypole bower, a kind of wooden hut that can reach over six feet, and the second in an avenue bower, vertical passage that resembles the aisle used by brides and grooms during a wedding ceremony. Some bowers have even been maintained for as long as 30 years, and the male bowerbird will use this structure for life. We can see why they spend so much time decorating it. Yet these birds have been known to stick to a strict color scheme to spruce up their pad, collecting items like snail shells, berries, beetles, flowers, and even bones. They'll also collect man-made objects such as plastic bottles, pins, and other litter to brighten up the place. Pretty amazing, right? Once the female stops by for the grand tour, the male performs an unusual, highly energetic dance to try and seal the deal. Hey, there's someone out there for everyone. Hmm. Protective parrotfish There's nothing worse than getting a bad night's sleep, and for parrotfish, they've gone to some seriously extreme measures to try and snooze without distraction. Yeah, the parrotfish is always at risk from parasites like the blood-sucking isopod, and during the daylight hours, they're being constantly groomed by tiny, cleaner fish who eat these nasty bugs right off their skin. However, there is just one problem. Cleaner fish don't work night shifts. At night, parrotfish are totally vulnerable to being attacked by parasites, so some fish have created an ingenious method to keep themselves safe when it comes to bedtime. Secreting mucus from large glands in their gill cavity, the parrotfish can wrap itself in its very own cocoon in less than an hour in order to keep away the bloodsuckers. Just think of it as a fishy mosquito net. Pretty smart, right? Horsehair worm mind control. Have you ever seen a horsehair worm before? These creepy creatures, also known as Gordian worms, live in streams, puddles, and even swimming pools, just about any damp area you can think of. They grow to over two feet in length and are very long and skinny, at just 1 80th of an inch in diameter. Yet these weird worms may look like nothing more than a shoelace or a strand of spaghetti, but they're actually a sinister killer that torments insects like grasshoppers and crickets. That's right. Horsehair worm uses mind control to dispatch their victims. Pretty spooky, right? But how do they do it? Basically, the horsehair worm will infect their host, and after developing for several months, the insect will be under the complete control. They'll boost chemicals in the grasshopper's brain that cause it to walk aimlessly with no direction until the insect reaches a body of water. Once they've reached their destination, it soon becomes a watery grave as the infection drives the grasshopper to dive right in, drowning themselves in the process. Only then will the horsehair worm burst out of its host like an alien and swim away to begin the horrific cycle all over again. Wow, who knew worms could be so evil? <laughs> Strange Spiral Beehive Bees are known for their hard work and excellent construction skills, but this is one hive that defies all expectations. Yet the Australian stingless bee has a completely different style to the rest of their buzzy brothers and sisters. This bee actually constructs epic spiral structures that have been baffling wildlife experts for decades. The Australian stingless bee is one of only 500 species of bees without stingers, and locals have even given them a cute nickname, the sugar bag bee. No one knows why they build these mysterious constructions in the shape of a spiral, but we do know that they're used to rearing their young. The structure is called a brood comb and links hundreds of egg chambers together. Scientists have noticed that the structure resembles spirals seen in the formation of crystals, and they suspect that this strange shape may improve air circulation in the brood comb or even make them easier to navigate. Still, for now, these spiral beehives are still a total mystery. 
cuttlefish camouflage. This cephalopod is not only highly intelligent, but it's also got a secret superpower that helps it blend in under the sea. Yet the cuttlefish is a master of disguise, and just like the octopus, this cephalopod can change colors to match its environment. Pretty impressive, right? What makes it even more incredible is that the cuttlefish is actually totally colorblind. That's right, it doesn't even know what colors it should be changing into. Scientists have claimed that cuttlefish can only see in black and white, yet that they can transform into a wide spectrum of colors on the rainbow. So how do they know how to do it? Experts reckon that they can detect blurs of certain shades reflecting under the water, and this is what helps them understand which colors surround them. In fact, cuttlefish are so smart and perceptive that scientists often find that they can actually count and are better at figuring out the number of objects in front of them than a human baby. Now let's move on to our final weird thing that animals do. Tear drinking moths. Who knew moths could be so evil? Yet certain moths have actually been observed drinking teardrops straight out of other animals' eyes, including crocodiles, turtles, and birds. But it's not because misery tastes good, it's all down to the nutrients contained inside these saline teardrops. Yet tears contain salt, an essential nutrient that moths can't get from their regular diet of nectar. They use their proboscis, a long tube extending from their mouth, as a kind of straw designed to suck up liquids. It's also thought that they might be seeking protein from tears to boost the amount of time they can fly and even prolong their lifespan. Yet moths may be sucking out the tears of innocent creatures to drink from the fountain of youth. This consumption of tear behavior has been spotted in Africa, Madagascar, Asia, and even the Amazon rainforest. So next time you shed a tear, watch out, there may be a moth waiting to drink it up. Animals do the weirdest things. Which one of these super strange creatures was your favorite? You can let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.